Dear friends, we are going to study twisting couple on a cylinder. This topic is for B.Sc. first year physics students. First, we will discuss what is elasticity. A body is said to be rigid if the relative positions of its constituent particles remains unchanged when external force acts on body. Actually, no body is rigid, so every body can be deformed more or less by suitable force the simplest case of deformations are change in length change in volume and change in shape of the body in all these cases body is said to be strained or deformed let us we can define the elasticity it is the property of material of a body to regain its original condition on removal of deforming forces is called as the elasticity example of this elasticity is this is the spring if we apply the force on the spring then that spring changes its volume also its shape but if we remove the deforming force then it came to its original shape second one is if we stretch a wire then its length changes and after removing the deforming force then this wire came to its original length on the other hand the bodies which do not show any tendency to recover their original conditions are called as plastic bodies we can study the twisting couple on a cylinder consider a cylindrical rod having length l and radius r its upper end is clamped and the rod is twisted by applying a couple to its lower end in the plane perpendicular to its length then the rod is said to be under tension so due to the property of the elasticity and restoring couple equal and opposite to the twisting couple is produced let eta be the modulus of rigidity of the rod or wire and theta is the angle through which cylinder is twisted twist produces neither in a length nor in a radius of the cylinder the value of the twist for any cross section of any cylinder is independent of the direction of the couple let us calculate the value of this couple imagine the cylinder consist of large number of coaxial hollow cylinders consider one such hollow cylinder having radius x and radial thickness dx this is shown in figure 1 each radius of the lower end is turned through the same angle theta but displacement is greatest at the rim it decreases as the center is approached where it reduces to zero then from figure 2 ab be the line parallel to the axis o o dash of the cylinder before the twisting is produced after the twisting point b shifts to b dash and line ab takes the position ab dash this is shown in figure 2 before twisting if this hollow cylinder cut along the line ab and flattened out then it will form the rectangular abcd shown in figure 3 but after the twisting it takes the shape of the parallelogram a b dash c dash d the angle through which this hollow cylinder is sheared is angle b a b dash is equal to 5 then from this figure 2 the angle b a b dash is equal to 5 this b a b dash is equal to 5 therefore this arc bb dash bb dash is equal to l into 5 this bb dash is equal to this length into this angle also 
from the figure first angle b o b dash this b o b dash is equal to theta therefore this arc b b dash is equal to this x into theta then equating these two equations left hand side is equal so right hand side is l phi is equal to x theta therefore phi is equal to x theta divided by l from this equation it is observed that the shearing angle this phi having a maximum value when this x is the greatest it means the maximum strain is on the outermost part of the cylinder and least at the innermost part of the cylinder or we can say that shearing stress is not uniform therefore the angle of shear is the same for any one of the hollow cylinder and it is greatest for the outermost and least for the innermost therefore we can calculate the modulus of rigidity for cylinder it is denoted as eta eta it is the ratio between shearing stress to that of angle of shear therefore this eta is equal to shearing stress its value is nothing but it is a force f and angle phi or this shearing stress f is equal to eta into phi if we substitute the value of this phi in this equation then f is equal to eta x theta divided by l from the figure 1 x is the radius of the cylinder then the face area of hollow cylinder is equal to 2 pi into radius is x into its radial thickness dx then we can calculate the total shearing force total shearing force about the axis o o dash is equal to this face area 2 pi x dx into this force eta x theta divided by l then final equation 2 pi eta theta x square divided by l into dx then we can calculate the moment of this force about the axis o o dash of a cylinder and this is equal to 2 pi eta theta x square divided by l into dx into its radius therefore the equation is 2 pi eta theta this x square into x is x cube divided by l into dx so this equation is the twisting couple on a cylinder then we can calculate the total twisting couple on cylinder by integrating this above equation between the limits x is equal to 0 and x is equal to this radius r then we can calculate total 
ट्विस्टिंग कपल एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू टू पाई ईटा थीटा डिवाइड बाई एल दिस टू पाई ईटा थीटा डिवाइड बाई एल कॉन्स्टेंट आउटसाइड इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रेशन जीरो टू आर एक्स क्यूब डी एक्स सो दिस इज इफ वी टेक द इंटीग्रेशन कॉन्स्टेंट टू पाई ईटा थीटा डिवाइड बाई एल देन इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ दिस एक्स क्यूब इज एक्स टू दी पावर फोर डिवाइडेड बाई फोर लोअर लिमिट जीरो अपर लिमिट आर इफ वी सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज देन टू पाई ईटा थीटा डिवाइड बाई एल दिस इज आर फोर्थ अपर लिमिट इज इफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर आर फोर्थ डिवाइड बाई फोर एंड लोअर लिमिट इफ वी सब्सिट्यूट जीरो देन इट्स वैल्यू इज जीरो सो दिस इक्वेशन बिकम्स पाई ईटा थीटा आर फोर्थ डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वाइस एल दिस इक्वेशन इज द टोटल ट्विस्टिंग कपल ऑन द सिलेंडर टू कैलकुलेट ट्विस्टिंग कपल पर यूनिट ट्विस्ट ऑन सिलेंडर और वायर फॉर दिस थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन इफ वी सब्सिट्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा इज इक्वल टू वन इन दिस इक्वेशन देन द इक्वेशन ट्विस्टिंग कपल पर यूनिट ट्विस्ट ऑन अ सिलेंडर और वायर इज इक्वल टू पाई ईटा आर टू दी पावर फोर डिवाइड बाय वाई सेल सो दिस इक्वेशन इज अ ट्विस्टिंग कपल पर यूनिट ट्विस्ट on a cylinder dear friends if you understand the topic then subscribe the channel like the video and send this video to other friends thank you